Bonjour à tous et à tous. Hello everyone and welcome to this SciTech segment. I'm Serge Kofi. Our ancestors had tails several million years ago, and according to paleoanthropologists who are specialists in human evolution, this tail would have disappeared because man has become bipedal. Engineers uh, from the Keio University in Tokyo, Japan, attempt to come up with their robotic tail for the elderly. They decided to call it ARC, the one metal long appendix that attaches to the waist with a harness to help maintain balance, according to the researchers. As you can see, when you lean to the left, the tail points in the opposite direction, like a pendulum. Junishi Nabeshima, a student at the Embodied Media Project, which invents technologies for the human body, explains how it works. The tails on animals move as an expression of emotion. Of course, there's a function in the tail we've designed to express emotion with movement. But not only that, when a cheetah chases its prey, the tail supports its center of gravity. And similarly, the tail we have developed supports this balance. If the ARC project turns out uh, successful and applicable, it will certainly be able to help the elderly in their daily lives and people in their rehabilitation phase. Researchers at the university also suggest a complete different use. The robotic tail could be a fun accessory for video games, integrating visual reality as it will add an interesting effect to the body of the player who would walk around in the visual world. The prototype has been presented to the public, but no commercialization date has yet been announced as scientists are fine-tuning the arc to be more compact and portable. The arc works a little like the tail of many animals such as the cheetah, the kangaroo or the hippopotamus. This robotic tail has four artificial muscles and can swing in eight different directions. Its length and width can be adjusted by removing or adding vertebrae, which are small metal discs weighing between 24 and 184 grams. In addition to the elderly, the team also targets workers who have to carry heavy loads so the tail can be used to reduce the effort of creating a counterweight. With images of real life people in mind, such as those doing work involving heights, unstable footing, and of course, older people who lose their sense of balance. We are continuing to develop our product for further real-life applications. I have seen widely the configuration of prosthetic appliances. I think it would be nice to incorporate this developed prosthetic tail in daily life in a form which one can choose the robotic tail as an option when one seeks a little more assistance in balance. It is easy to understand the motivation for such an invention. One third of Japanese population will be over 65 years old by 2025. The country is relying heavily on robotics to cope with aging. More and more technological aids are being developed in Japan today that provide support for autonomy and allow persons to act as much as possible on his or her own in the face of difficulties without relying on external intervention. Which own voice is to say technology is must not infantilize and isolate the elderly. Send us your questions and suggestions on Twitter at Kofi Serge. See you next week. Bye bye.